Hey everybody, a Retro Geek Dad here, back with another toy review. This time we are looking at the Marvel Legends series, Iron Man Model 1 or Mark 1. This is from the Marvel Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest line. I uh, picked this up from Big Bad Toy Store. It was $28.99, it's about $29. Um, pretty cool figure. Um, I'm a big fan of the Mark 1 armor from Iron Man, so I definitely had to pick this up. And this is kind of based on the classic comic version. Um, but as you can see, this is part of the Hasbro plastic free packaging. Um, so we're going to look at the packaging and we're going to open them up, look at the figure, articulation and things like that. So stay tuned and we're going to get into it. Okay, so we're going to do a quick package walkthrough. So here on the front we have our, you know, our figure here. Um, plastic free packaging Hasbro uh, on this side we have a picture of the actual you know like a picture of the figure like a uh, computer render I guess it's not the actual figure but on the other side we have a picture of the mark one now this picture is from the cover of tells of suspense issue number 39 it was the first appearance of Iron Man uh, so that's pretty cool that they added that on there and then on the back, we have uh, another picture of our figure. Uh, he does come with some accessories, some interchangeable hands, uh, rocket boots, and looks like some smoke features. Uh, so we'll check those out when we open it. But the UPC code is right there. And on the bottom, we just have some more information about the plastic free packaging and what it includes. So it includes a figure and six accessories. And then on the top we have our Avengers logo there. So we're going to go ahead and open him up. So we've got some tape. Let's cut that right there. to the side okay. and we have our little warning paper saying don't stick this stuff in your mouth it's not good there's all that okay and this little bag here kind of fell out so I think this is the rocket boot accessories yeah there's the rocket boots and like that. Another accessory pack. And our actual figure. Alright, so here is our Mark I Armor Iron Man. So there's definitely kind of a metallic sheen to it. It's not just like a flat color. Uh, it's looking pretty cool. Let's take a look at these other accessories real quick. Okay, so we have our two alternate hands. They're kind of a fist, closed fist hand. Here's the other one. So yeah, closed fists. There's those. And then the other accessories. These are like little smoke accessories. I guess these can go around his feet while he's, you know, using the rocket boots. So they're kind of a kind of a black. There's a little bit of reddish in there. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. A little bit of a red. But our Iron Man Mark I figure. He does have his little antenna here. Uh, articulation. Look at that. The head is on a ball joint. That is pretty good. And there's another joint inside the body. So we do have a little bit. We have two articulated 
you know, the one for the head and the one for the body. So and I'm sorry if the light gets bright and dark and bright and dark. I think it's because of the reflection off of his body. Um, the arms, pretty good movement. It's on a ball socket. The top here, we have rotation there. Elbows are double jointed. So we do have double joints in the arms. The wrist, we do have a rocker in it. Rotation. Um, we do not have a chest uh, joint here. We only have the waist. So there is, you know, pretty good movement back and forth. Um, the legs, they're on the ball joint, so pretty good movement there. The top of the thigh, we have rotation. And the knees are double jointed too. And the ankles are on a rocker. So we get pretty good movement there. Uh, back and forth. A little tight. There is some clicking there. Um, it's a pretty solid figure. I'm kind of impressed with how solid it, it feels. It really, you know, portrays that like hulky Iron Man suit. Um, we do have some, there is some like battle damage on it. It's kind of hard to see, but like the scrapes and things. So pretty cool. I was trying to see if you can kind of see inside of his helmet. But there's really, really nothing there. Pretty cool though. But let's try the, let's try the repulsor boots. Um, so we have two different pegs here. So we'll put the rocket jets on that one. <clears throat> and just trying to kind of figure out how this would work. I guess something kind of like that. Yeah, something kind of like that, I guess. Golly, those lights are just going crazy, aren't they? So, yeah, I kind of like that. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Gives us some, you know, different details. So, pretty cool. And then the hands, just pop those off. And I always tell everybody, when you go to um, you know, do these little pegs, just be careful because these pegs can break. And it just becomes a hassle. So we'll put in the fist. And they're pretty, pretty easy getting them in and out. It's not too difficult. So there is our fists. Those are pretty cool too. Not bad. I'm happy with this figure. Um, really stout figure. Um, price point's a little high, but that's just you know how things are getting nowadays. Um, the little chest repulsor piece is pretty cool. Kind of makes it pop. But yeah, that's the uh, the Mark One armor. Um, I like it. It's always been one of my favorite armors. But yeah, a little quick, simple review here. Nothing too fancy smancy. Uh, stands pretty good too. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you like my content, you know, just give me a you know, subscribe, thumbs up, you know, drop a comment if you want to. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will catch you again soon. Mm -hmm.